What attracted me to the film is the script is really, really funny, like laugh out loud funny when you're home by yourself reading it, which is a good sign. And Toni Collette was attached and she called me and said, what are you doing in February? Do you want to come do this really quick and funny film with talented people in New Orleans? So it was an easy answer. I feel like what's, I, it must be Dean's like British sensibility that the comedy is really outrageous, but when you read it, you feel like you can get away with it. Like you, it, it's, it's, sophisticated enough to feel like, you know, it's not like, um, I mean, we were doing some really crude stuff yesterday, but there's something about it that is elegant too, because it's really tight and it really, it really sings. Um, I play Beatrice, who is single-handedly after money, status, outward appearances. She comes in looking very well put together, like she has it all, like she's on the ball when really she's kind of falling apart and I get to fall apart in the movie. Um, it's In some ways it's similar to some things I've done before in terms of how tightly she's wound, but not in terms of just how awful she is. She can be particularly to her husband. She's just mercilessly bitchy and wrongheaded um, and there's just something really fun and delicious to explore that that part of life when you don't, you can't do that in real life, you know, your shadow, so to speak. Yeah, some of these people I've worked with before, I, I probably worked with uh, Tony as much as I worked with Ron at this point. Um, they're all, Ron and I were talking about it at lunch, they're all very different comedians, but it's kind of like a really good jazz ensemble that like, you know, David does this thing that's like, sort of very low-key and it's one instrument and then Tony is like her character is like very earnest and anxious and then Anna has this really offbeat thing but together they all play this really beautiful song you know comedy wise yeah it's funny this this house is such a behemoth that it does feel like another character in the show um, and I wondered to myself how much of it was the actual owner and how much of it was set deck. You know, it, there's definitely like a lot of vibe going on in there. Um, it's, there's also something to shooting in New Orleans because it's definitely a place where it looks like we've, we're shooting here during Mardi Gras. And people definitely let their freak flag fly. So it definitely gives you a lot of permission to do, I was doing some drunk scenes yesterday to just see how far you can take it. And I had, um, a lot of, I got to do research during Mardi Gras and just watch people <laughs> on the corner lose their balance and kind of fall into the sidewalk. Um, but yeah, they, it kind of, this place and this town kind of create half the, the work for you. Well, I think it's funny because I was saying earlier about Dean getting away with some really body humor, but I think if there was a message in the movie, it really is to value what's important. I mean, I won't give away the end of the movie, but you realize how everyone is in search of these things that aren't gonna bring them happiness and them finding connection and who they really were to each other sort of has the potential, you know what I mean, to bring you true happiness. Maybe not all the characters evolve in that direction, but we do see it, we glimpse it in the movie. Yeah, the biggest challenge for me with this character was just day one we started with the drunk scenes, which are where she becomes uncharacteristically Beatrice, where she lets it all go, but we hadn't shot anything where she was actually Beatrice yet. So it was hard to know where to go with it. Um, but the good thing about comedy and the good thing about working with Dean is he just says, do all of it and we'll see what we need, you know, on the day. So, and that's also an exciting thing about all the actors is they try anything. Like there's no, no one's putting you in a straight jacket. And then, you know, I think we'll, we'll figure out who these characters are, but it was hard to start at the lowest point, you know. It's amazing working with Kathleen Turner. You hear that voice and it, like for me, it, it's a part of like the great, you know, the great films that I watched as a young person and as a kid, because it's undeniable, her like power and presence. I found myself yesterday in the scene, like watching her being so, taken by her, I was off camera, and I was making the same face as she was making. I was like, no, you can't do that. You have to be in the scene. Um, and the other person who it's a thrill to work with is young Kayla. 
because she's someone I can't look at when the camera's rolling because I do laugh. I do break character because she's so flippin' funny.